Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Marcus Aurelius, and this is Crusader Kings 2 After the End. And we are the young boy Baypoint Aurelius, who is the king of Gran Francisco. And I think Ultimal Geniture it was a good way to keep things in the family, but it comes with its own set of problems. And now what the Regent did was set us back to minimal crown authority, which means it's going to take another three rulers just to get to where we need to to get Prima Geniture, which isn't going to happen because we'll just be in more Regencies. So I, I need to figure out a way around this. I don't know what to do exactly. Right now I'm going to have some ale. Excellent, because it's certainly improved my decision-making skills thus far. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to defend Marin, which is being raided. And I'll be damned if I'm going to let those filthy barbarians take my gold. I need it to fight off my ornery vassals. And now they landed 1,100 people in Gran Francisco. And we're going to be at a severe disadvantage, too. That's trouble. Perhaps we could get 200 men. Great. All right, so stuff's happening. Let's see. Prince Colin is no longer the superintendent of revenue. Now it's going to be... Nicole... You're a courtier. Oh, you're the... Are you the daughter of the... Are you the daughter of the... Wineland Prefect? You're... Okay, you're the granddaughter of Nicole, the Prefect of the Wineland. So you have a claim on the Wineland, don't you? Interesting. Sorry about that, folks. The mod crashed again. And I'm not certain as to why, but... We are back here in... Grand Francisco and is now back to January the 1st. So we're going to we're going to try to get back to where we were, I guess. We have some raiders in Monterey we're going to take care of. Okay. And now we're going to head back to Grand Francisco. But let's let everybody go first. And send the retinue back to Grand Francisco. Okay. I'm going to let the Prefect of Hayward take care of his own mess here. But these raiders are getting out of control. What am I saying getting? They've been out of control. Oh, i got to let my navy go. Oops. Alright. We have a ton of money, so let's actually do some more improvements here. Varix will give us more pikemen. A keep. We'll improve the levy size. That's fine. All right. Oh, that took a lot of money. Like 400 gold. And we just got 83 gold more. So good. No, you're not marrying my mom. Oh, you want to marry Nicole? Well, she's currently my thing in my hotch. So no. I need her to ensure that the money flows into my kingdom, especially now that it's given me an additional domain province. Okay, we're, we're just wasting time here. Keeper of equipages? Lawrence? Sure. He's old. He'll die soon, but at least he'll support me in a civil war if it comes to that. Prince Richmond claims he would be a better marshal than Countess Divine. I give Divine a chance. You are kind of a threat to me, Richmond, and I don't want to upset one of my counts. What special? Another commander? Sure, why not have Chad fight for us? Maybe he'll get killed. 
In fact, there you go, Chad. And we're almost 2715. Why? Did you die, Prince Cullen? You did. Natural death. Well, it happens. Alright, so you are... I thought Nicole is our superintendent of revenues. Let's research economy tech. I know money's good, but that's good too. What, King Baypoint lacks a guardian? Alright, who do I have? Fortune Builder? That seems pretty good, actually. Stewardship plus six? Diplomacy would be good too, though. Who's our best? Malala, Courtier, Grand Francisco. You're awesome! Oh, you're the wife of that one guy, yeah. You're a great eminence. You're content? Oh, whatever. Yes, let's do it. Teach me! Teach me, woman! Teach me to be great. Okay, he is now 14. Well, I guess he's not, technically, but... Sometime this year. Crap, he's shy. Well, we'll have time to deal with that. At least he's young, so he hopefully will have a super long reign. And maybe we can game the system a bit better and have it so that... We, like, don't let him get married after a certain point, or... I don't know, we'll figure it out. Or just marry an older woman who is beyond childbearing years. Oh, by the way, we are now autosaving at the half-year point, just to help us in case there's a crash, like there has been quite frequently. Okay, raiders are so stupid. I mean, they just land in Grand Francisco. Welcome back, folks. Sorry about that. We crashed again. Twice in one episode? This is out of control. The only thing I can think is it has something to do with the speed at which we are progressing. That's the only thing I can think of. So we're back. Luckily, we're auto-saving every half year, as I mentioned. So we have more than enough time to make up, but... Hussein was captured. Great. But I think, yeah, it might be because uh, last time I did it when I tried to disband my army. So let's... We'll just we'll combine everybody, and we'll disband. Okay, good. So I'm not sure what to do, actually, here, because I need to move fast until, until he's ready to go. So we'll keep it up. And just hope for the best here. I mean, he's almost almost an adult. We're already into 2716. Allie died of pneumonia, my cousin or something. More raiders. They are now dead. All right. Let's make it to July. Oh, crap! Dangerous faction. Prefect Peter for the Wineland. Why is that a faction? I don't care. Oh, he wants elective succession. Aren't we trying to... Yeah, we're trying to make him like us. Do a better job, Mom. We have so much money. He's not going to be able to do crap. Actually, how are we doing on this? Alright, so our keep is still working. How's Marin? A shipyard. I don't really want galleys. A keep is expensive, but a barracks will give us more heavy infantry and pikemen, or we can get light cavalry. Let's go with the barracks. Oh, and we still have plenty of money. Alright, good. He likes us better. No, you're not going to marry my mom. We're almost at July, which is the autosave point, which I'm now looking quite forward to. And done. Autosaved. Hooray. Let's have some ale. Celebrate this momentous occasion. Wow. 
White piece. And the crusade for Louisiane has been successful. The Knights of Peter Claver, as Christendom's domain increases, it has become clear that ever-expanding realms need ever-expanding defenses. With this in mind, a new military order has been established in Catholic-ruled New Orleans. These Knights of Peter Claver, so they're known, will assist any God-fearing Catholic in need of a hand. No one's declared... I wonder if we can declare holy wars. I want to declare some holy wars. Take out those Gaians. Maybe get up and get rid of some of those uh, Vikings that are troubling us. Those Vikings of the Pacific Northwest. Alright, he's 15. Okay. It's been a long time, folks, but we're almost there. We are almost there. Feels like it's been an eternity. Incoherent and vacant. We can ask him to advocate. Or we can gain some karma and gain the trait zealous. Well, karma's good enough, I guess. And once we're an adult, man, we're going to put stuff to rights. We're going to just... We're going to make things happen. Keeper of equipages. Peter. Love me, Peter. Come on. And commander. The mayor of Pacific Grove. You're pretty, you're pretty good. Let's do it. All right. Come on. Grow up. Keep has been built. Let's go to barracks. We need a new investigator of transgressions. Petrero, the mayor of Novato. Sure, it's all yours. Mayors are great because they don't really rebel. They don't do anything crazy. Is there anyone in the world who's better technology than we are? There is! Holy crap! Whoever this person is, Comancheria now has eclipsed Gran Francisco in technology. Probably do this Regency. Well, we'll get that from them. Prince Nolan's going to take away these two counties. You know what? At this point, I just don't care. I'm going to eventually be the Emperor of California anyway. I don't really care. I'm not going to assassinate three people, four people. It's just well beyond well beyond what I'm willing to do. The Commandant of Gardeners. Hmm. Why does Carlos show up as the... Oh, I see. The Vine already loves me. Alright, Frederick. Why not? Commander. Wash. <laughs> the Baron of San Mateo. Why do people keep dying? I know we're going super fast through the... Through the time, but... We're now 2717. Alright, Peter and Napa should love the hell out of us. And he does. Does he still have a dangerous faction? No, he doesn't. He's too busy being my buddy. Alright, Mom. So what I want you to do now is I want you to make my brother like us more. Is that? Yeah, Prince of Marcadero. How do you feel about us, MB18? All right, yeah, we could definitely serve to make you like us a bit more. I just want to grow up. I want to grow up. want to grow up. want to grow up. Come on. The raiders are raiding Santa Cruz. It happens. Now they're raiding Marin. Okay, come on, guys. Seriously. I don't I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight raiders. That's not what I enjoy doing. But you're just making it impossible for me to ignore you. And now they're gone. Back to Gran Francisco. My retinue's pretty tough now. When is this kid going to grow up? There we go. Just as I said it. King Bay Point of Gran Francisco is now of legal age. He became an indulgent wastrel. What? You've come to a crossroads of faith. You need not follow the ascetic way of your childhood. There are other paths you could choose. Other gurus whose writings you could study. The way of the fist. Diplomacy down. Nope. Way of the cowl. Intrigue. Way of the Dove, Diplomacy plus two, Marshall minus one. What path am I on? Am I the way of the book? I'll continue on it. Alright, we need an ambition, and we need a wife. 
Genius. No geniuses out there, huh? That's a shame. Maybe I can find somebody from outside of... No. Let's see. Find characters. Genius. Monroe. No. Search all. Gender? Female. In prison? No. Married? No. Ruler? No. Although that wouldn't necessarily hurt. Any religion, any culture. Alright. Angelica, a courtier in Saginaw. She's a good combat. Well, she has bad morale, actually, but she is a genius. She's craven, just, charitable, but ill, unfortunately. She's the right age, though, at 21. She's probably going to get better. Let's just go down here from... All right. She's 15. She's a genius. Kind, cynical, charitable, honest, and our arbitrary sucks, though. She's an Anabaptist. Okay, Destiny. <laughs> she is a fortune builder. A genius, patient. She's amazing, actually. Destiny is evangelical, but damn. All right, let's see. She's too distant to interact with? What? Who's her liege? Hey, lady. You're too distant to interact with? Are you shitting me? What does that even mean? Alright, well, apparently... Apparently, destiny is not my destiny, if you know what I'm saying. Which is a shame. Indulgent Wastrel is terrible. Terrible. How did I get that? Ugh. Alright, well, Destiny is pretty much it. Angelica. She's also ill. Is she. Okay, she's too distant. What? This is stupid. Alright. How about you? Marin? You're a naive appeaser. You're gluttonous. I mean, you're terrible, but whatever. Let's just see. Are you. No, you're too far. You're too far. You're too far. You're too far. Well, screw you, mod. Seriously. Screw you. I mean, how do I get through people that are close enough to interact with? This realm, I guess? Well, there's no geniuses in my realm. How about attractive? Nope, none of those either. Yeah, well, screw it. Who is the best? Actually, it's stewardship. Lidu, courtier in Carson. She's 31 years old. Nope. Nicole. You know what, Nicole? Well, no, but you've got some terrible traits. But you do want to learn temperance. But you have amazing stewardship. And you're actually my steward. And you're Midas Touch, so you're going to be super fertile. You are scarred, but I don't care. I love you just the way you are. Roth. Eh. Futhi. You're a fortune builder, but she's Midas Touched. Taba is also Midas Touched, but she's old. Charmaine. She's way of the cowl arbitrary. No, she sucks. Nicole's just right here. She's Sedic. She's my culture. Alright, let's do it. Oh, you know what? I should have set the ambition to get married. Ah... Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, we are married. We're married to, believe it or not, the granddaughter of Nicole of the Wineland, who I was not on best terms with as Marcus, but you know what? She is an amazing steward. And so now we... Well, she doesn't actually beat me up to another domain size, but that's all right. She's a great steward. She'll help me out indubitably. 
and things are looking good. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Marcus Aurelius, and this is Crusader Kings 2 After the End. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.